time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Tuesday, October 24th. Hope everyone's having a good day. Myself, all I did today in Zero DTE land was a Rick this morning. And my Rick is in the valley. So. Let's see where that's at. I was uh, thought I was going to hit it on the downside. Didn't quite get low enough. And we had that big push back up. So I need to the upside. I really need above 4260 to uh, to get out of the valley. I thought you didn't you you got yours got hit quite a bit earlier, didn't it? Or is that you that posted or somebody else? Gotcha. Yeah, you must have get it. You got it. You must have waited until it crept up a little higher, right? I got in right around 9 a.m., about 30 minutes after the market opened. Didn't quite get there. For power hour, it looks like we may be back to a straddle, my friends. Vic's still above 19, but looks like a straddle, maybe a four, maybe a five wide. Go ahead and buy my longs here. Actually, I had a uh, PM Iron Condor that set up today, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't available to take it, so I just didn't take it. Which that would have been about right here. So I mean, it would still be alive. I'm not, I may have even hit the first profit target by now, but I'm not sure. We sit right here, we'll be five wide. Give it another minute. I saw a couple of people or a few people had the uh, quiet lunch, but my Tuesday quiet lunch has a overnight VIX filter on it. So mine did not qualify. Looks like the 5045s. Fifty forty five is trying to get filled at six ninety five. No takers. Six ninety. Filled at six ninety. Fifties and forty fives. 
Yeah, it does, it does feel like a little short squeeze from the bottom. Vic's getting crushed a little bit, down over 5.5%. Was just at 23 yesterday. Now it's down at almost 19. It's doing good for our VXX verticals. Looks like those are up about 1,500-ish. I may, uh, I may take some of those off by the end of the day. Just profits came so quick. You know, we're at, uh, let's see, about, what is it, 30-ish percent in two days. Our oil finally getting a little decay coming in the last couple days. MES, not quite to profit target. ZN showing a little bit of profit. ZS didn't quite make it to our profit target today. I bet we get out of that tomorrow. QQQ, not quite to profit target. A rut duck, doing good. Closed out a time fly today and put on another one. Also added a Put calendar and SPX. Also added a one, I'll show you my calendars here. Added a one three in uh, one three DTE. That one's up a little bit, 150-ish. Uh, my two four is up about 490, 470. My three four from yesterday is up about two forty, and then my five seven is up, um, or excuse me, down about two something. I posted in the uh, in the calendar channel. You know that back the back test is pretty similar. Taking that off today or tomorrow, so I might just I may hold it till tomorrow. All right, I had to go get my bone broth off the uh, stove. Got to get my power hour bone broth. Tomorrow, you're already out of VXX. S&P up 28, NASDAQ up 112, Russell up 11 and a half, Dow up 232. Gold and silver, a little bit red. Notes and bonds, pretty flat. 10-year yield, pretty flat. Oil down 2%. Natty gas up 2%. Grains mixed. Bitcoin, oh, wow. I didn't even check that out today. It's up. Bitcoin's up almost 8%, almost to 34,000. They must be getting close to getting that uh, BlackRock ETF approved or something. I haven't heard anything, but I know that's on the docket.
every month, huh? So you just buy crypto at the, the last week of every month and you just cash in every month, Chris. Cool. I'll have to check that out. Is that a guarantee? Is that guaranteed? All right. What else is going on with everyone? Anything fun, fun and exciting going on in your guys' lives? Oh, Alienware. Nice. Desktop or laptop? Nice. Which, which, uh, which model? what mine is now r something mine is the aurora r13 12th generation i9 64 gig. Nice. Lasoza, where do they go to school? Okay, cool. Right, getting a little decay in tranche one so far. World Cricket Championships going on right now, right? Is that what you call them? Yep. What do you need more of tomorrow? More like quicker processing? Gotcha. Is that you draped in the blanket discount? My alien wears quiet as a mouse.
Yeah. Yeah, the light on it's cool. A little alien head. I'm getting a little a little tiny pullback here. On mine, I just, so what I've got now, I've got four monitors on my Alienware. I've got Toss, Open, Tradehawk, Discord, of course, and Browsers. And then uh, on my, and then I have a Mac, my old Mac, not old, it's only a year old, but my Mac next to it. And I just, I, I run TradingView on that. TradingView is kind of a data hog. Yeah, it is for sure. I don't have the issue, you know, with toss. Sometimes I'd have that issue where I was trying to click around on stuff and I'd get a little spinning wheel or like I'd be trying, I'd click the up down button on the uh, number of contracts and it would just start going crazy and updating my number of contracts until I shut it down. Don't have any of those issues anymore. Five minutes until tranche two. Where was that match at discount? I'm going to save that Dick K. I don't need it right now, but in case I do, thank you for that. Oh, nice. World's largest cricket stadium. How many, how many got packed into there? 130k oh holy moly that is big they get rowdy
All right, I'm going to buy some longs for tranche two. Well behaved. They must not serve him. They must not serve enough alcohol. That's the problem. You got to get everybody good and liquored up before and during the games. <laughs> That's a dry state. Oh, that makes sense. I like Arrowhead. They open the gates. Eh, three, some games, four or five hours before game time. Everybody gets out there in the parking lot, barbecues, gets all liquored up. That's why Arrowhead's so rowdy. Yeah, I have a I have a private tailgate just just for me and Tay Tay. <laughs> All right, tranche two is looking like. Yes, we'll be doing uh forty two fifties. 42, 45, same strikes if we stay right here. Give it another minute. Lando, you got a lot J? I'm usually in lot. Um, well, we used to have a Chiefs bus that we would take out there. That was back in our 20s for kids and responsibilities. We were always in lot, I think it was F. All right, 4250s, 4245s, tranche numero dos. Trying to get filled at 525. Partial. Got filled on 10 of my 16. And the rest at 515, 525 and 515. Same strikes as tranche one, 50s, 45s. I think I'll probably keep the, my five, seven until tomorrow. It's just kind of right. Right in the valley. If we get a little, we'll move in either direction. It should, should help it. Dick K, when do you prefer to close your five sevens? My back test shows the best is either at the end of today or the end of tomorrow. End of day tomorrow. Gotcha. Yeah, that's. Kind of same time today or tomorrow shows fairly similar results. It's it's odd. It 
neither neither day in the morning shows very good results. But end of day today or end of day tomorrow. I do crush for uh, Friday, Monday, like a TGIF. I don't like holding those until Friday, but the the one day and the you know other than other than Friday, Monday, a lot of those are fine. I mean, obviously, like the one two. I mean, we're entering those with one day, closing them on zero DTE in the front. So on the calendar, of course, the big one tomorrow, we've got Jerome taking the stand after the market closes. Due to deliver opening remarks at the Moynihan Lecture in Social Science and Public Policy in Washington, D.C., SPX giving a little bounce. Just getting up there so we can widen our strikes out for tranche three tomorrow. So tranche one I got in at six ninety. Looking for 415 on tranche one. Tranche two, I got in at, we'll split the difference. We'll say 520. So 315 for tranche two. So 415 for tranche one, 315 for tranche two. I posted in the zero DTE channel earlier today. Wooga is going to be presenting his trade plan. I mean, that's just fun to say. Wooga. Thursday, 30 minutes after the bell. What do you got there, Dick K? Oh, 
That's not Taylor Swift. That guy's got a chief shirt on. <laughs> Is it Taylor Swift's mom? Oh, nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Perfect. It's a good looking stash. Is that a real stash or is that fake? That is a Travis Kelsey-esque outfit as well. <laughs> I think you need to grow that stash, Dick K. You can own that thing. All right, a few minutes till tranche three. About my longs. Looks like it might be a fifty five fifty if we hold here. It's pretty good, Dick K. That's, that's that's pretty good. I like it. Did you guys did you guys already go? Was there like a was it a, a contest? <laughs> We've literally been talking about it for the last few minutes. <laughs> the greatest tight end of all time plays for your Kansas City Chiefs, Chris. With his new girlfriend. Gronk. Got a minute till tranche three. Yeah, we could get a 10 wider. Low premium 10 wide. Give it about 30 seconds. Like the fifty five forty fives. Maybe the fifty five fifties. Fifty five fifties. Five wide. Trying to get four bucks. Filled at four dollar even. Forty two fifty fives, forty two fifties. All right, locked and loaded. 
4250 is my sweet spot. No, 50 is definitely not the sweet spot for Rick. Wouldn't be a full loss. Launch one is trading at 450. I need 415. Tranche two is trading at 460. I need 315. Tranche one and two are the same. Same strikes. Come down just a little bit to get centered for that to hit my stop reduction. Quite a little rally off the bottom, isn't it? From 42.20 up to 42, over 42.50. Just a slow grind up. Steady, steady grind up. Punch one at 480. Yeah, if we get a two point, if we get a yeah, well, four point, if we get a four point drop, we would definitely be there.
Yeah, today's time flap. Well, keep in mind it was, it was 24 days out too. So it's a little bit longer than you're used to. Yeah, I, I, I made it a little bit more centered than normal and wider and further out just to give just to give Jerome a little more leeway. A little more room to to roam after he says something stupid tomorrow. Uh, he's saying something stupid about 30 minutes after the bell tomorrow. No, it's not FOMC. It's just uh, maybe you may not have heard me earlier. Uh, due to deliver opening remarks at a Moynihan lecture in, so in social science and public safety Excuse me, can't read today. Due to deliver opening remarks at the Moynihan Lecture in Social Science and Public Policy in Washington, D.C. Tron's going down to 470. Looking for 415. If we can come down a couple more points. Tranche three trading at 325. Tranche one and two trading at 470. FOMC is next week, I believe, right? <clears throat> yeah, Wednesday, November 1st. It's a big day. Just bring this down. So next... Well, hang on. I might have to reduce my stop here. Saw a little bit of red, a little bit of red on that candle. Down to 440. Four thirty five, four twenty five, four twenty. We come down just a little bit more to get that down to 415. 420, 415. There it is. All right. Reducing stop on tranche one. Next up, tranche two. I need 315. Same strikes.
Trunch three down to four or 350. Forty three forty two fifty is my pin. All right, we're kind of kind of just sleeping away here, which is good. Power hour sleep is it's a good thing. Three sixteen million buy side, huh? Uh, what I was saying about um, where I had to reduce my stop. So yeah, Wednesday is a big day next week. Pre market ADP non farm employment. Thirty minutes after the market opens, ISM manufacturing PMI and jolts, and then FOMC that afternoon. So be ready to buckle up. Buckle up for safety, everybody. Buckle up. I think the only thing I'll be doing that day would be my FOMC trades. Yeah, that's next Wednesday, the 1st. So no power hour, but we will stream during that. Let's see, is that on the calendar? Uh, yeah, it's already on the calendar. So we'll we'll stream for FOMC. I did not play any futures today. I was kind of looking at them and watching and waiting and trying to decide, and I just decided not to do anything. NTT would have worked really well, both to the downside and the upside today. Yeah, I look at NTT. I've got my trading view on my Mac over here, sitting on my desk. So I, I, I watch that. Uh, but I also just I also just kind of look at price action and see where I think where I think it might go. Like like yesterday, for example. I got long. Um, well, I started getting long at five thirty in the morning, really because we were 
we were starting to push below this level and I just thought they were going to smoke out some stops that were sitting under this level and then rally. And so that's, that's, that was kind of my thesis yesterday. And today I just didn't have a strong thesis about anything, but yeah, NTT would have worked well. Is PX trying to bounce? Yeah, I'll sacrifice Rick for a 4250 pin. Anywhere between 47 and 52 would be good. Have any other toss users been randomly shifted over to Schwab yet? I saw Annette posted earlier. They told her January and then they just switched her over today. Hopefully they don't do that to me. They told me January as well. Suppose, supposedly they're supposed to tell you you're supposed to get an email oh, okay is it they told you futures is the issue huh the reason for late okay yeah i mean originally they said if you're on toss you know if you have a td ameritrade account Originally, I was told if you don't use toss, then you'd be moved over early. Uh, but it looks like Schwab does have toss now. So maybe they, maybe now they're just working on futures. I haven't talked to anybody in a while. I should probably reach out to someone. Uh, MRP, I've used anything from one minute up to uh, 15 minutes for day trading with NTT. Just depends on how, yeah, how fast you want it to be, how much, you know, do you, are you looking for more of a, like a, almost like a position type day trade where you could like sell verticals or if you're trading futures and you're wanting to scalp, obviously the lower time frame you'd, you'd go. So just, it just really kind of depends on your preference. Oh yeah. I used to do, I used to do all kinds of using the daily chart multi-day trades with NTT. I just, once I started trading zero DTE, I had to, I just ran out of capacity. I had to kick something. So NTT got kicked to the curb as far as my position swing trades. Tranche two is trading at 390. I need 315.
times two, still at 390. Need to get down back towards 50 or a little bit lower for tranche two to get its stop reduced. Oh, Google Microsoft after the bell today. Well, those boys could move the market a little bit. VIX back down approaching 19. I'm going to take some of my VXX off. We're over 30% in two days. Let's try four eighteen. There we go. Filled at four eighteen. Closed half of those. Posted that in the option selling channel. Launch two. Launch two does need to be reduced. Stop reduced on tranche two. Is that a nice little down move? And the final market on close and balance, 1.7 billion buy side. So preliminaries were 360, 316 million buy side, jumped up to 1.7 billion buy side. Nine minutes to go. Yeah, I, I really don't know if there's much to it. I mean, if there is a, a big number that comes out, you definitely see it move, but I just, I'm not sure there's really anything you can do with it.
you, the number that comes out at at uh, ten minutes to the bell. That is the. That's what the firms are locked into, and the and their order goes in market on close. They used to do it after hours, but because the liquidity kind of dried up, it would kind of it could kind of shake things. So they they're required to do a market on close order now. You can trade stock after hours, after the bell. All right. Just trying to give us a shot here, boys and girls. Tranche three is trading down to a buck twenty-five. Tranche one and two are at two eighty. Down to forty eight. Definitely not taking all three to the bell. Let's see what I want to do here. We get a tranche two orders at a buck thirty. Should be hitting. Well, bounced up now. There we go. A little bounce. Can we get a little bounce? Bounce. Crunch three added a buck sixty five. Crunch two and uh, one and two are trading at a two bucks. Need those to come down. Pushed above our fifty strike, up above fifty one. I almost got filled at a buck thirty. I did not get filled. Ugh. Now it's over three bucks. Put tranche at tranche two at two eighty. Filled at two eighty on tranche two. Don't want this thing to explode higher is what I don't want. Try to get that at 210. 
Build at 205 on tranche one. So tranche one, I got in at 690. Out at 205. So for tranche one, made 4,850. Tranche two, I got in at 525, out at 280. I'll call it 520, got in at 520 of the split order. 520, got out at 280. Uh, 3,840 on tranche two. And then tranche three, I got in at four bucks. I did a buck So about 11, a little over 11,000. I like it. With Soza, first winning power hour. Very nice. Feels good, huh? Congrats, man. That's awesome. Now, what's the damage going to be on Rick? I can escape with a two or three thousand dollar loss on Rick. I'll be happy. Uh, it's down, down about four grand right now on Rick. Need a last minute push. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds to go. I'm not in the bottom. I'm uh, well. I mean, there's a shot I could get to the bottom here if this thing drops to forty-five. I need a bounce. No, wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way, Rick. All right, so I ended up down about five fifty one hundred or yeah, about fifty fifty two hundred on Rick. So zero DTE up about six K net with power hour. That's the only zero DTE I did today. Rick and power hour. All right, my friends. We'll be back tomorrow. Let's see, let me bring over the live stream. So Tomorrow is the 25th. Yeah, so we'll be doing zero DTE live stream in the morning at the open uh, tomorrow and Thursday. And then, of course, back for power hour. The hour of power. Oh, Siri's yelling at me. All right, my friends. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care.